Good day to you. My name is Vincent Manisi and I'm back again with um, the explanation of Africa Must Unite and why I wrote it and the whole point. I must give you um, a classical, I would call reading to it. Um, as I said, it was an A to Z of all um, what you call royal heritages in Africa. And I'll just give you one example of, of uh, an A to Z what I'm talking about. Uh, let's say the Benin Kingdom, which is a powerful kingdom of South Nigeria rainforest founded in the 13th century, which survived until the 19th century. The dynastic title of, that ruled over Oba, the Benin Kingdom reached the imperial Opig under Uriri the Great, uh, year 1440 to 1473. The Portuguese turned the Benin Kingdom to, to source cloth, beds, slaves in the 15th and 16th century. It became one of the most prosperous kingdoms in Africa. The Benin Kingdom was conquered by the British in 1897 and in 1975 the name was adopted by the former colony of the Dahomey Kingdom of the West African based in the, in the capital Abdomey, which is late 17th century and early 18th century its authority of the coast to the interior to the west of Europe but devastated their harmony. But the Oi Empire collapsed in the 19th century. Um, it became famous in the trade of oil and slaves. It was heavily influenced by a neighboring Yoruba tribe. The state was annexed by the French in 1883 and it gained independence naming itself Benin in 1960. See how deep this thing is? Okay. And then I'll just go into the events. The Algerian War of Independence, 1954 to 1962. It was mounted from a growing resentment against the French ruling in Algeria, which was fueled by Arab national nationalism. With gathered strength from the Second World War, it gained FLL Front Liberation National, expressed themselves on the night of the 1st of November 1954, when Algeria National...